One afternoon, Derek was waiting at a signal with the goods for Knapford. He was looking forward to a rest and a drink at the depot. Just then, the signal clunked to green and Derek slowly started. But as he did, there was a sudden splutter and Derek stopped just past the signal. I've overheated again, he sighed. The signalman telephoned the depot and Darry and Bert were sent to help. They found the predicament rather funny. Here, Harry. Look, it's Derek, the unlucky one. Unlucky? The poor engine. Maybe he needs a nice scrapyard to rest in. It's better than an out-of-use siding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. Enough with the harsh words, thank you. Just please take me to the depot. Harry took the goods, while Spurt towed Derek away. When they arrived, Bear was there. Hello there, Derek. Broken down again, he remarked. Ah, well. Oh, sorry, I can't stop. I've got a train to pull. Cheer up, said his driver. It's not your fault that this happens to you. Anyway, I was talking to the fat controller the other day, and he said he might give you an overhaul soon. So in the meantime, keep your chin up. This made Derek feel a little better, but he was still doubtful that he'd ever have one. While Derek was being mended, Harry and Bert started teasing again. Honestly, Harry, Bert began, why doesn't the fat controller just buy more of us? We're more modern, strong and never break down. We're also better looking than your class anyway, chuckled Harry. Will you two stop being burst valves, growled Bear crossly. Oh, it's all right, Bear, said Derek. I'm used to it. Nonsense. You deserve full respect on this railway, and not to be made fun of by impertinent shunters that don't know what they're talking about. Add to that, what is your problem with him anyway? Well, he's simply useless, Harry continued. His shape is a complete mess, and he ain't fit for any other type of work on this good-for-nothing railway. I might be ugly looking in your eyes, replied Derek, but I am very youthful. Ha! What a lot of who are. Now if you'd kindly put a dint in it, and let us get some shut-eye. And the two brothers went to sleep. The next day, however, Bert was having trouble with his engine, and since Derek is still being mended, he and Harry had to cover for Derek's next train. I told you, Bert, that engine of yours really needs seeing to. There's nothing wrong with it, Bert snapped. Just a bit clogged up is all. Now let's go, we've got a goods to cover for a certain failure. Bert coughed away, with Harry following beside him. Derek, who had seen everything, smiled. Better get prepared for rescue, he said quietly to his driver. The twins thundered along the main line. We'll show them our shunters can handle goods, roared Harry. We'll take them by storm and steal their thunder, spluttered Bert. Then everything happened at once. The two had just arrived at a signal box that when there was a loud bang and the train came to a standstill. I told you, snapped Harry, but you didn't want to listen. Sure up, you have no sense of direction. 
No sense! No sense! Why, you little- Stop this, both of you, their drivers said. Now, Harry, do you think you can move the train? Harry gave an agreeable grunt and started pulling. But the train hardly moved at all. Meanwhile, Derek had just been mended when the manager walked over. I got a call from Tim. Bert's broke down and Harry can't move the train on his own. Do you think you can help, please? Certainly, replied his driver, and Derek oiled away to the rescue. Hello, Neville. Hi, Derek. Well, 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 broken down, I see. The diesels mumbled under their breaths. Never mind, I'll have this sorted out in a jiffy. Right, he said as he backed down. Everything ready back there? The guard nodded and waved his green flag. Here goes! So with Derek growling in front, the long cavalcade set off to the docks. They arrived late but satisfied. The fat controller was waiting. Remarkable effort today, Derek. I am very pleased. As a reward for your effort, you will be going to the works for your overall tomorrow morning. As for you two, he stared, I've heard you've been very rude to Derek. He might be a failure to you, but he's always apologetic about any delays and tries his best. For your punishment, you will be working with Charlie at the calling plant when Bert is mended. The two diesels gave a dramatic groan, and then they said sorry to Derek. That's all right, he smiled. Apology accepted. Bear went to collect Derek the next morning. I'm so glad to have an overhaul. My teething issues will finally be sorted out. Good for you, laughed Bear. I'm pleased to see that you're happy. Soon it was time to leave, and Bear oiled away with a very happy diesel in tow. And when he returned, Derek went back to work with a new engine intact. Although... Oh no, not again! Some things for Derek may never change. <laughs>